So this is a program called Geometer Sketchpad. It's used in geometry, or you can also use it in any other math class. Um, I personally was introduced to this in my geometry class. Our teacher had us write out our proofs on here because, as you can see, there's a little text box. So you can write out your proofs and accompany it with pictures like circles. Ooh, lots of circles. Or a line if you want to make a triangle. Here's a little triangle. Or you can also use it to make graphs. If you go up to the graph tab, go to grid form and use a square grid because that's what most of us use where you have the one unit by the one unit. If you want to plot points, just go to graph, plot points, simply type your numbers in, and there's my point. Today I'm going to use Geometer Sketchpad to show you how to construct a nine point circle. So first you want to create an arbitrary triangle, whatever kind of whatever triangle you want. Next we're going to find the midpoints of the triangles or of the segments of the triangle. So highlight all three of the sides, go to construct and midpoints. Um, remember control M, we're going to use this in the future to construct the midpoints. And now we're going to find the altitudes. Remember, altitudes are when the vertices and the line um, are perpendicular to each other. So the segment from the vertices to the opposing line segment creates a 90 degree angle. So go ahead and click the vertices and the opposing line segment. Go to construct, perpendicular line. And we're going to repeat the process with all three of the vertices. Ooh. I'm going to move this vertice that way the line side. Yep, there we go. Now the altitude and the side of the triangle are not the same. All right, so we're going to go ahead and plot the points where the altitudes meet with our line segments. Those are called the feet. And we're going to also plot the point of the intersections of the altitudes. Now we no longer need the altitude, so we're going to go ahead and hide them. Simply highlight all three of the altitudes, go to display, and hide perpendicular lines, or control H for future. So next we're going to construct lines from the pl newly plotted point from the intersection of the altitudes to each of the vertices. So you can either click on both of the points and go to construct segment or you can use the segment tool here or the shortcut command L or control L and again we want the midpoints of the newly constructed segments now we no longer need these segments nor the intersection of the segments so we're going to go ahead and hide them and now we have nine points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is our nine point circle. So if you take this point along with this median, construct a segment, and then find the midpoint, this is the center of our circle. So go ahead and click on the circle tab on the side. Start at the midpoint that we just found. Go out to any point on the circle. And you have now constructed your nine point circle. Congratulations.